quite sunny. It's a Sunday. We're gonna go out and I found this really nice cafe way out into West Tokyo and I thought might as well take advantage of it before the rain sets in so let's go. It's going to take us kind of a while to get there but I'm looking forward to it. There's this thing that they do in the summer called Kawa Asobi which is like playing by the river. I don't know if I'll be able to do that today but it's kind of exciting so let's go i'm also bringing my bigger camera today which is giving me a little bit of anxiety because it really stands out it has this dead cat on it yeah it's just my exposure therapy i guess i got this dress from h&m on sale so that's always a win and this bandana that i thrifted a really long time ago so i thought it looked like really summery and just fresh so enough babbling let's get going After an hour and 40 minutes, we're finally here in Akiruno City, which is West Tokyo. It's like way out here, but I can already hear the river and I'm really excited. We just got to the cafe. It's we chose a really good day to go actually because it's been raining slash cloudy for the past I don't know how many days. And now the sun's finally out. We're getting some drinks. It's going to be a really chill Sunday. I'm so happy that we decided to do this. Last night I was kind of like, should we still go? But yeah, it's gonna be decided to. I can't wait to like dip my feet in the river, something I haven't done in a really long time. And just take a really nice break from the city. What did you end up getting? Ume juice. Ume juice? And? Juice juice. Juice juice. Okay, nice. Someone brought their dog, look. Look at that. Yeah. He's swimming. He's swimming. Yeah. Oh. He's so cute. He's gone. Yeah. We can go over there, it's like a mini waterfall too, look. Mm. I almost forgot. I brought my film camera. Do you want me to take a picture of you?
that was such a wholesome little activity. It was really nice seeing families barbecue by the waterfall and just go swimming in the river. They had floaties, they were taking family pictures. Just a nice Sunday activity. And it makes me wonder if I could ever move to a place like this because it's just so serene, so far away from everything. The air here feels different. Um, we're actually very close to Yamanashi-ken, I think, which is a neighboring prefecture. Shogo mentioned Nagano as well, so I'm not entirely sure, but I just feel really happy to like get out of the city a little bit. And now we're crossing this bridge. It's kind of famous because it's blue. I think that's the claim to fame. <laughs> I'm not kidding. For lunch, we decided to walk a little bit to this place called Koharu Biori. And I saw it on Google Maps. They're famous for tempura and I'm really excited because I love me a cold set of noodles on a really hot day. And it just so happened that even if today wasn't supposed to be very sunny, it still is quite hot. So it's just a nice little escape, I guess, from the heat. And what I really like about this place is that it's an old Japanese style house that they've renovated to look like a restaurant and it's so homey. The staff are really friendly. I think you might have a hard time if you don't speak Japanese but overall I think the service is quite fast and it has really high reviews. Where did he go? Either. There. That way. top I got a GU it has a bra built into it so I love that it's so convenient and I don't think I ever get tired of walking around the area near Yoyogi Park because the houses are so much bigger and they all have like really distinct personalities so it's just a nice way to spend an afternoon we might drop by and get our groceries as well because there's a nice cheap one that's nearby so looking forward to it setup. I have been wanting to wear this out but I've been a little bit shy. Uh, but I thought tonight would be the perfect 
event to wear to because it's a night yoga event. It's free and they offer bilingual support. So I think I might need that because it's my first time trying yoga in Japanese um, and I might not understand everything completely. So not to make a fool of myself, I think I'll stick to the bilingual section. And yeah, I'm going to go alone. I'm kind of nervous, but I think it'll be a really good experience. I like that it's a series that happens all throughout summer. I can't wait to be more flexible and work on my mobility. So let's go. It's going to take us an hour to get there. I want to leave after I get the straps for my yoga mat. It's not really a yoga mat. It's an exercise mat, but we make do with what we have, guys. So hopefully it comes soon. If it doesn't come by six, I'll just have to lug it like this. And uh, hope not too many people stare. So anyway, let's go. This is how it's looking like. I really like this thing. It really makes me feel like a Pilates instructor or something. These pants from H&M and this top from Shopee. So I've made it to the venue and there are so many other girls um, with their yoga mats and it's so cute. <laughs> wow. I got a seat in front just in case I didn't understand what she would say. This portion of the video is done in collaboration with Teddy Blake. Since a lot of you guys are coming to Japan this summer, I thought I'd share my updated summer essentials for 2023 now that things are finally heating up in Japan. So when I shop around for bags, I tend to gravitate toward the style more than a brand name because it's not about having the bag wear you, it's about you wearing the bag, if you get what I mean. That said, Teddy Blake has handbags that come in every style. All Teddy Blake bags are made with genuine Italian leather and are dyed and treated by experienced craftsmen to ensure quality, standout pieces that will last you a very long time. Having said all that, I think a big advantage that Teddy Blake has is that it democratizes fashion by having an affordable price tag without scrimping on style and quality. So the bag that I want to show you today is called the Stella Vitello in gray and it's one of the latest designs from Teddy Blake and I love that you can dress it up or down depending on the occasion. I love that you can hold it as a clutch or a crossbody and this is the first most adventurous piece I have in my bag collection and I'm really excited to wear it out to the various work events that I go to and just for going out with my friends in Shogo. So without further ado, I'll show you guys what's inside. I love that it's like a clamp so it fits so much stuff. First, the fan. This is from Muji. Can't live without it, honestly. Has lasted me so long and I bring it out every summer. Next, this spray-on sunscreen from Biore. I love that it doesn't leave your skin feeling tacky and it's so easy to reapply so I don't get lazy too. Um, I should work on that, but yeah. Next, I have two camera batteries because my camera runs out of battery so quickly, you guys cannot imagine, so I need two. Next, I have my handy dandy sunglasses. I've had this for a really long time, um, but I did lose the cover, so there's that. Next, I have my power bank. Can't leave home without it. My, I don't know why, but my cell phone's battery life is not very long anymore considering I just bought it in 2020. Anyway. This is it, and the charger. And of course, can't leave home without a lip tint of some sort. And we have my phone, which is an iPhone 12 Pro. Not Pro Max, just a Pro. And I use this for vlogging as well. So if you liked this bag or want to see other designs by Teddy Blake, check out their website. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to Teddy Blake for partnering with me in this week's video. So as always, thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you next week. Bye!